Austin, you got there first. Well, uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> delighted to, uh, to introduce our, uh, our closing plenary speaker, Dr. Austin Smith, who you heard David mention just now. Uh, Austin's... Different one. Oh, is it a different one? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm, a, a, I'm a later clone. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence is that? I should have done my homework. Um, but Dr. Smith has got over 18 years' experience in, uh, in adult and paediatric uh, oncology. He, uh, he studied at uh, the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, and uh, he postgraduated at uh, Bartholomew's and or St. Bart's and at the Royal Marsden. And uh, he's now the medical director over at uh, Theridex. So I'm delighted to, to introduce him as our closing plenary speaker. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Harriet. And I'd like to thank One Nucleus and the lovely ladies upstairs for welcoming me and making me feel very comfortable. Let's get this working. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, I don't know the IT works. <laughs> Excellent. What I would like to try and cover this afternoon is really just some of the changes that have made uh, an impact into the clinical development. Now, it's a very broad topic, and I'm going to try and focus on the areas that I work mainly in. Uh, so I will apologize now if I omit anyone's area who they think is uh, uh, very pivotal to the developmental steps. A quick word about Theradex. We are an oncology CRO, We've been going for nearly 30 years, and we are based in the US and in Europe. And we have been working, prim uh, I work primarily with the early phase and uh, clinical and experimental teams. A usual disclaimer, I'll move on quickly. So this was the first paper really that was published back in 2000, which gave at that point the uh, defining hallmarks of cancer. And it is quite interesting, I was listening to the update at AACR URCT last year, and the uh, genesis for this came from when the two main authors were hiking up a mountain just outside Washington, and with a little bit of altitude-induced hypoxia, they came across this seminal paper. <laughs> 